sorry for the interruption <laughs> while you're driving at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're here in uh, Vancouver, well, outside Vancouver, where we drove like, what, 200 miles out of Vancouver? Yeah, about 250 or so. Now. North, northeast, driving the new 2017 Genesis G90. Don't say Hyundai. Uh, exactly. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Almost. Pretty interesting project, a pretty interesting story on its own, right? Yeah, this is, I think it's a really unique opportunity for us. It's kind of fun because how often does um, an automaker launch a new brand? Not very often. This is only the second one, I guess. Yeah, this uh, decade. This, this decade. century, actually. This, yeah, this century, right? Because Tesla in 2004, right? we're not going to talk about Fisker because that lasted no, well, like no, a year. No, they don't want association <laughs> with that. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Hyundai finally decided that Genesis had enough substance to become a brand and i think they they have a good point on it no yeah i think so i mean you look at um and we just we didn't realize what genesis sales were thirty thousand last year that's very substantial that's exciting i think that's something to build off of um and that's just with the the old what? hyundai genesis model yeah, with one car yeah that that, um, that is very successful and like i mean Hyundai, I think, has uh, out of the two Korean brands, uh, is the one that has done the best job in positioning itself to take this step. Yeah, absolutely. Coming into the U.S., um, the two brands having to operate in a different way and, and separately, Hyundai kind of took that mass market, but also premium um, identity, and Kia was kind of the fun, sporty one. And now I think Hyundai really has an opportunity here to accelerate that premium and even um, go towards luxury with Genesis and uh, the first two models that we'll see the G90 that we're driving right yeah. now and the G80 we have a pretty good idea of these because Hyundai already had them but uh, and then they've done uh, they've done some things to these cars and they're different and um, more in line for what they want to do with Genesis but to look beyond that I think is where um, this is a great foundation but that's where the excitement really comes what's gonna be the next sort of design, the next aesthetic, the next idea, how does that identity take form and shape? The G70, is that going to be sporty? Is it going to be more elegant? Is futuristic it futuristic or something? Futuristic. Based on the, on the concept that we saw in New York earlier this year. Which was gorgeous, which beautiful. Is, yeah, concept. I mean, if they come like even close to that, that will be pretty exciting. And I think besides that, obviously the financial resources and RD resources they have from Korea, I mean, they have lined up a pretty impressive group of talent yeah, yeah, for yeah. this brand. I mean, people from Bentley, people from Lamborghini that are really gonna like give the additional step that they have to compete in the market where like Mercedes-Benz, Audi, BMW, Lexus, maybe Acura, Infiniti at the second level in luxury. But I mean, they seem to have every piece now on lined up to be successful. If you're gonna start a company, you want to get the best talent. It doesn't happen overnight. A, a tree doesn't grow overnight. So you start with the seeds, let that kind of develop. Right now, this is just, this is the early stages. This is the beginning, this is spring training. So um, they're really experimenting and trying to figure out what's that exact market? What's that tone? Where do they want to go? Um, this is a good start though. I mean, you're, you're starting off, it all starts with product. Uh, the G90, the G80, these are gonna be a great way to start. Uh, G70 is gonna be very exciting and then you come in with CUVs and SUVs. Yeah. And they haven't told us a price for this car, but the, the Ecus, which is also being eliminated from the Hyundai lineup, was around 61, start at 61. This one, which by the way, includes Pretty much everything that we are used to see in other brands as options, like safety right. systems, right. like power seats, like premium audio, which is really good. We already tried it before. Yeah, that Lexicon system. Uh, like great. really, pretty much overall, really good materials. There are a few things, a few small things that maybe Some small can be improved, but I mean, again, they haven't uh, announced pricing. But let's say it's going to start around 65. They tell like a little bit more than three of the whatever it's. It's uh, current with the Echo, so 65 is not about, it's a very competitive price. It's it's taking that um, Hyundai model, which is a lot of in-your-face features, a lot of things you can identify and point to and say, okay, there's value yeah. here. And I think that's a good start for Genesis. If you want to get the sort of savvy um, 
premium and upmarket consumer, taking that formula from today is a, is a way to do it. Yeah. And um, I mean, you travel a lot and you cover a lot of the luxury now segment of the automotive industry, and you actually just came back from maybe driving two of the most <laughs> luxurious and expensive cars in the world, right? Uh, the yeah, Chiron and yeah. the Aston Martin. Yeah, right? yeah. The Chiron, I didn't get to drive the Chiron, but we did a, a design and uh, engineering workshop there, and then yeah, we got to drive the um, Aston Martin sort of uh, next generation mm -hmm. vehicle, the DB11. Um, and so definitely a different world, another stratosphere yeah. there, but... Um, but it's still in the luxury stratosphere, which is yeah, kind yeah. of, it's, it's been growing it's and large growing and growing. Right? And then the interesting thing to me is like the regular brand, like, like the Nissan's, Honda's, Toyota's, the gap between those and their luxury brands is like getting smaller and smaller. I mean, you yeah. see a Nissan, a well-equipped Nissan Maxima, and you see a Infiniti Q30, Right. There's difference, but there's not that much difference. No, the, the, you're right about it. the gap is definitely getting smaller. We've seen what we always thought of as the kind of standard bearer, uh, larger mass market luxury companies, Mercedes and BMW and Audi. We've seen them kind of go a little bit down market yeah. with some product and going to smaller sizes and some of the cars they have in Europe. Um, you know, I, I never thought five or ten years ago that we'd see the X1, for example, uh -huh. or, yeah. um, you know, we've come down to even um, smaller hatchbacks that, that are really popular in Europe, and Mercedes brought their first uh, sub-30 starting car, which is really Yeah, but as a but, former PR person from a PR head of Mercedes-Benz, used to say, like, it's easier to go down from the penthouse to the lobby, <laughs> going from the lobby <laughs> right. to the penthouse. Right, so. right. I mean, right. That 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 <laughs> trip can be a little bit uh, bumpy in some cases. But again, Hyundai, I think, is doing a great job. Uh, Hyundai, the, the mother company, let's say, because this is a completely separate business unit. Yeah. Like Genesis is completely separate, and now Hyundai is separate. Like uh, I guess, uh, like Nissan is trying to do with Infinity, and so um, we'll see how it goes. But the experience today, I think, was great. I think when uh, you get into a car and you more or less manage your expectations, I think you have to, to to take it for what it is. I think it's a great first step, no? Yeah, it's definitely, um, in terms of establishing a foundation, something to build off of, um, that's been laid and it's a great start. And uh, I think there's only a, a very bright future for this company, especially looking at the history that the parent company, that Hyundai, uh, has established already, some of the success they've had. If they can take some of those ideas and translate that uh, a little bit more up market that's going to be something interesting to watch in the next few years well we'll see we'll hopefully we'll be here to see that yeah hopefully yeah right. <laughs> thank you very much man no, uh, where can we find your stuff where, where are you doing uh, these days you'll see it you'll see it all over the place um you'll see uh i've got one of the uh, bugatti stories just ran in cool hunting and you'll see uh, another one running on autoblog uh, and there's also some stuff in Luxury Prepare Magazine. To turn right. That's this uh, upcoming month, September, that issue goes out. Excellent. We'll be paying attention. Thank you again for sharing the ride with me today. And, uh, Always a pleasure. I'm going to keep enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day here beautiful in, uh, country, beautiful in Canada. Because we reach our destination. So, <laughs> see you next time.